Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and whatever other holiday. Oh, that's right, Yule. I should say Happy Yule because really my ancestry says that my family was a Yule celebrator. So there we go. Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. And today we're going to make a holiday recipe, hot buttered rum. Who doesn't like a little hot buttered rum to go with the holidays? I mean, when you're an adult, really, you've got to do anything you can to handle the screaming teenagers and mid-adolescent children that don't get what they want because, you know, that's what we want our kids to be, selfish, greedy little bastards around Christmas. So, <laughs> you've got to have a little holiday spirits to put your fake smile on and say, open the presents, kids. <laughs> so, in our recipe today, <laughs> we have uh, brown sugar. We've got some cinnamon. We got some ginger, some nutmeg, and some cloves, vanilla, and some butter, and honey. So what we do first is I just get a small little saucepan out because we're only going to make a small little batch and uh, we're going to heat it up. Uh, the base of all caramel kind of recipes is like butter and brown sugar. Now some people use dark brown sugar or light brown sugar, or medium brown sugar or whatever you want. Use whatever sugar you want. I'm not going to really measure it out. I think most recipes call for like, I don't know, a, a third, you know, maybe it's three quarters of a cup or I'm just going to go with what looks good. That looks good. So that's kind of what it looks like. That's the amount. I don't know. My hands compared to my face to the pan compared to the sugar, I that's my measurement. So that was probably like a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of cloves in there. Just to shake a little bit. Cloves are a little powerful. The ginger and nutmeg. There's a little bit of ginger and cinnamon. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of nutmeg in here. I think that looks like enough butter. I think this is like artificial butter or something. Canola harvest. That's what my producer had. Canola. I think if I cook down this far enough, I can make some oil out of it to cook with. And then we're just going to put it on a medium favorite heat of eight, which I think is about medium, medium high. And we've got a little whisk. We're just going to let it cook until it comes to a nice rolling boil and the sugar is partially dissolved. And then we're going to put it in a container and then, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. So the ingredients is kind of starting to boil a little bit. It's melted and we're going to add some honey to it. And I'm just going to use a little squirt of honey. because we don't want it to be too hard. So this is cold water. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Yeah, it's gonna cool right down and form into a harder substance and we don't wanna overcook it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. So that's what it looks like right now. So it's kind of a frothy bubble. We're going to take this and put it in the refrigerator until it becomes a semi-solid. As you notice, I have very little decorations. Very little decorations, just this whatever this is, the calendar thingy. It's a Santa Claus with little pouches. The benefit of not having children at home anymore is I don't have to put a freaking tree up, I don't have to decorate it, I don't have to put stuff out I guess when I have grandchildren someday I'll make an exception because I have to be the cool grandma you know all right so it's been a couple hours and we have our hot buttered rum chilled it's like a really thick syrup and it will even harden even more so for today we just have a nice thick syrup 
See how yummy that looks. Nice thick syrup. And I'm just gonna put a couple teaspoons. Or I'll just pour it in until it looks good. That looks good. And then I've got my uh, Captain rum. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna use about half of that since I'm about half tipsy anyway. And then I boiled some water. Now you can put cream in it. So cream is the best, but we're gonna use a little bit of coconut milk just to give the drink a little bit more of a creamy taste. I don't want to put too much in because it'll chill it out too much. And so like last year, I had my Tom and Jerry mix, which is my very favorite. This is the hot buttered rum. Mm. You can taste the cinnamon and the cloves and the nutmeg and the ginger and, and then of course the Captain Morgans and it's just a nice, smooth, buttery, creamy flavor. Very comforting to your soul. Makes you want to light a fire and sit around and watch it burn with all your children's Christmas presents in there, of course. Mmm. So yummy. Guaranteed that you're going to love this recipe. Mmm. Producer even thinks it's yummy. Mm. And the nice thing about hot buttered rum is you could actually put it in the freezer, in a, you know, a freezer safe container. And then you can just get it out in a few months and have a little more. So I love you guys. You guys have happy holidays. And I say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas because, you know, not everybody celebrates Christmas. A Kwanzaa and, of course, Hanukkah. And I don't know what else anybody else celebrates this month. But happy holidays, everyone. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Thank you for watching Trailer Park Cooking. Join me next time for another great recipe. Bye, y'all.